Let's talk about channel memberships. Now, this is something I've been thinking about on this channel for quite a long time, at least the past six to eight months, but I wanted the channel to get to a certain size where it made sense. Additionally, I put up a post in the community tab about my plans or ideas really for uh, what I was gonna do with channel memberships a couple days ago as of the recording of this video, and I got you know a lot of feedback on that and as i expected overwhelmingly people are like no i'm not going to pay for a membership and i totally understand that we don't need more subscriptions in this world that we live in right now for content but this channel is something that i am trying to grow into a business and over the past i would say four to five months i've gotten a lot of emails and dms from people asking how they can support this channel and I've not wanted to go to a third party service. I've not wanted to go to another community because I don't want to separate communities in different places. I want to keep it all in one place. But I also do want to give a avenue for people to support the channel if that's something they want to do. But I also don't want to split this channel where it becomes a necessary thing to see the content. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. Before I jump into the actual membership offer that I've created for this channel, let's step back and talk about what Sagasu running actually is, what the term Sagasu is. Because I explained this early on in the early days of the channel, but there's been a lot of subscribers since then, and I don't expect everyone to understand this. But Sagasu is a Japanese word that means to search for, to seek. And it's a metaphor that I've loved for running for a long time because I think it applies to really everything that I do here, whether you're searching for the right running shoe or seeking understanding of the tech or seeking inspiration to run or even out on the run, you're seeking for uh, a new PR, what's around that corner over there to go a little bit farther. I just find the idea of Saga Suit to search for, to seek just such a fitting metaphor for everything I want to communicate on this channel, whether it's gear, the love of running, or training, or everything else that I talk about on this channel. And this is important because I've named the two tiers of membership around this idea, the Explorer tier and the Seeker tier. And let's talk about these two tiers. And really, it is a single tier structure. The Explorer tier is really two things. Priority, reply to comments, and the occasional uh, members only deleted scenes video. I'll get to what both those mean. But my real driver here is that I wanna reward uh, the active people in this community, the people that are always replying to my videos, always you know in the discussion on all of the videos. I wanna be able to badge all of these people, all of these members that you know are very active in this community. So there'll be the normal badging of, you know, one month, two months, six months, you know, 12, 24, 36, all of that, you know, based on your time. So there'll be that. There'll be some emojis that we can use on the channel. As of launch, there's only two around the Pegasus and bricks, you know, laying bricks and my love of the Nike Pegasus. Those can be used in chat in in comments. So, you know, pretty standard stuff. And then, as I said, there'll be some members only deleted scenes video. And what that's going to be is when I do my normal videos on this channel, I often edit out, believe it or not, 10 to 20 minutes. And I know I have pretty long videos on this channel. Some of that uh, 10 to 20 minutes of content that I typically will cut out of a video is probably pretty interesting to real deep shoe nerds, you know, people who really want to get in the details. Does it make sense in the larger video or I'm trying to edit the video down to a certain length? But this is stuff that could be interesting to really hardcore people, the type of people who probably would join this channel as a member. So it's not going to be a lot of content. It's not going to be anything really that exclusive. It's just stuff that otherwise I would have deleted that I think people that are members may be interested. But otherwise, as far as content, all of the content is going to be the same on the channel. I'm not going to do members first viewing. I'm not going to do anything like that because I don't want to segment out everything. Content on this channel will still be the same. It's just this membership tier of the Explorer level will just allow me to see uh, and prioritize comments as I'm replying, because I do pride myself on replying to all comments, but it's getting increasingly difficult. So this will give me a way of prioritizing that. I'm still gonna try to reply to all comments, but you know this is just gonna make it a little bit easier for me. And it will also allow me to, again, 
badge, you know, people who have been here for quite a long time, which will be, I think, quite important as we move forward. Additionally, there is a second tier here, but it's not really a second tier because I'm not offering any additional perks. The seeker level is really just a bigger monthly contribution to the channel, essentially. Uh, for those of you who do want to support what I do here on a larger level on a monthly basis. I've gotten numerous emails and DMs over the past few months of people wanting to do that. Again, I didn't want to go to a third party place to do that. And donations are just a little spotty. And I don't ever really talk about the super thanks button that you'll see below this video anyway. So this is just a way of on, on an ongoing basis uh, for you to support the channel uh, more. Though, again, it's completely optional. There's not going to be any additional perks here. But this type of monthly support on the channel is going to be really important as I grow this channel into a larger business for, I think, a pretty important reason. It does help this channel grow. It helps me get shoes. You know, I'm still buying the majority of shoes, though hopefully I'll start working with more brands this year. That's already started a little bit, but that will scale up. If I need to invest in the channel on camera gear, you know, whatever it is I, I need to produce stuff for the channel it helps with that. But there's another thing I've thought a lot about, and that's channel sponsors, you know, those ad reads that you'll hear in a lot of videos. I'm not opposed to them. I'm not saying they're never going to happen on this channel, but I'm going to be very, very picky about them because I want them to fit the channel. I want them to fit what I do here. You know, as much as we've all seen Squarespace ads on YouTube, we all know what Squarespace is, and I use Squarespace quite a bit for a lot of the stuff I do on the web. It doesn't really fit anywhere on this channel. I, I wouldn't do a shoe review and then do a Squarespace ad read or, you know, talk about a design deep dive and, you know, have the Squarespace ad read in there because it just wouldn't make sense. So channel sponsors are something that I'm probably not going to do often or if at all on this channel unless they're a very, very good fit and they're a product that I use all of the time. So by offering memberships, it's going to help, you know, take up some of the slack that by not doing that on this channel, um, I'll definitely need help with. Content on this channel is not going to change. Whether you're a member or a non-member, everyone's going to see the same content, except for those uh, deleted scenes videos I mentioned that members will see. But again, that content's only really going to be useful or interesting to people who probably would be a member here because it's going to be such deep shoe nerdery. It's like too nerdy for me that I actually cut it out of my main videos. So again, if you don't uh, join as a member here, you're not going to be missing much there. And it's only going to be one or two videos a month, if that anyway. So there's not going to be a ton of content there. But otherwise, all the content is still going to be public on this channel. I'm going to continue with the same schedule. Everything is going to continue as it's been. So if you choose to join this channel as a member in either of the two tiers, I appreciate the support. Um, and I look forward to uh, you know seeing how many people stick around for as long as they do because that badging I'm going to be really curious about. I actually love that in communities. And for those of you who don't uh, choose to join as members, I still appreciate you. Continue watching my videos, liking, uh, leaving comments, all of that. And with all of that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.